Welcome back to World History Explored. If you appreciate our content, don't forget to hit the like button, spread the word, and subscribe to our channel. Now, let's delve deep into the extraordinary life and lasting legacy of John Bassalone. Today, we bring to light the incredible story of this remarkable being, born on November 4, 1916, in the quaint scenic town of Raritan, nestled in the heart of New Jersey. Being the sixth child in a vibrant, bustling Italian-American family of ten children, his early life was steeped in values and principles. John Bazalone's family, despite their economic modesty, were rich in nurturing values. They instilled instilled in Bazalone a strong sense of determination and an unquenchable drive, features that would later become the bedrock of his character and propel him towards unprecedented greatness. Despite humble circumstances, Bazalone was a big dreamer from the start. In the year 1934, at the tender age of 18, John Bazalone, driven by his love for his homeland and an intense sense of duty, enlisted in the United States Army. This moment marked the onset of a distinguished military career. He served diligently for three years before receiving an honorable discharge on July 3, 1937. But his burning desire to serve his beloved nation was far from quenched. His heart still seared with patriotism and his journey was anything but complete. Four years later in 1940, Bazalone, propelled by his unwavering commitment to his country, made a significant leap. He joined the esteemed United States Marine Corps. His tireless devotion and commendable service quickly set him apart as a skilled, brave, and respected soldier. His comrades admired him, inspired by his dedication and courage. Bazalone's first real taste of combat came during the grueling Battle of Guadalcanal on August 1942. He was a machine gunner stationed in the Solomon Islands, the site of this pivotal battle. Despite the enormous challenge, Bazalone stood firm. He and his team manned two machine guns holding the line against a massive enemy force. They were significantly outnumbered, but Bazalone's leadership was unwavering. When ammunition ran low, Bazalone showed audacious bravery. He navigated through the barrage of heavy enemy fire, moving ammunition to keep his team's weapons active. This act of valor was instrumental in securing a hard-fought victory for his comrades. John Bass alone, with his indomitable spirit, faced overwhelming odds. His extraordinary bravery, exceptional leadership skills, and tactical acumen were pivotal in securing the victory at Guadalcanal. These attributes, combined with his tenacity and relentless courage, ensure that Bazalone's legacy endures, cementing him as a true American icon and a beacon of inspiration for future generations. Following his heroic actions in Guadalcanal, Bazalone returned to the United States on war bond tours. These tours weren't just a way to capitalize on his newfound fame from his time in the Pacific Theater, but rather a much-needed respite from the brutalities of the war. Nonetheless, they also served a dual purpose. Bazalone wasn't just a soldier returning home, he was a beacon of hope, a hero that exemplified the American fighting spirit. The war bond tours he headlined were nothing short of grandiose. Railways were decorated with his heroic exploits, and crowds, sometimes thousands, would gather to catch a glimpse of their hero. Mothers would bring their children, hoping to inspire them with Bazalone's courageous tale. Veterans would come to honor their comrade, their eyes shimmering with respect and admiration. His presence was a morale booster, a patriotic catalyst that ignited a sense of unity and resolve among the people. His efforts during these tours were successful beyond measure. He wasn't just a soldier, he was a salesman, selling bonds to finance the war, and he was the best at it. It is said that his charismatic persona, his heartfelt speeches, and his genuine dedication to the cause helped the nation raise millions of dollars to support the ongoing war effort. His name was synonymous with bravery, determination and self-sacrifice. Thus, John Bassalone effectively became the face of the United States resilience during such trying 1944. Amidst the chaos and uncertainty, Bassalone found solace in love. He married his sweetheart, Lena May Riggi, a beautiful and intelligent woman who shared his sense of duty and conviction. Their love story was a beacon of hope in those dark times. It was a testament to the enduring power of love that transcends the horrors and hardships of war. Theirs was not a fleeting wartime romance, but unwavering commitment. The bond they shared was fortified by the trials they endured, making their love stronger with each passing day. Lena's unwavering support and faith in him gave Bazalone the strength to continue his service with courage and determination. Their love story was an inspiration to many, a symbol of strength, 
resilience, and enduring love in the face of adversity. Lena May Riggi was an integral part of Bazalone's life, his rock in a tumultuous sea. She was the one who kept him grounded, who gave him a reason to fight, to return home. Their love and support would be a constant source of strength throughout his military career. Later that same year, Bazalone found himself once again on the front lines, this time on the island of Iwo Jima. This was not just any other island, but a crucial point in the Pacific front during World War II. It was a tiny speck in the vast blue expanse, covered with black sand and hardened hearts. It was a battleground where the echoes of gunfire and the cries of the fallen were drowned out by the relentless crashing of waves on the shore. It was here, on this war-torn and blood-soaked island, where Bazalone would face his destiny. Was a Marine, forged in the fires of conflict and honed by the hardships of war. But more than that, he was a man who believed in the cause he was fighting for. He was a man of principle, a man of courage, a man who was willing to lay down his life for his brothers in arms. The island of Iwo Jima turned into a theater of war, a place the very essence of humanity was tested. This was where Bazalone showed his true colors, not just as a Marine, but as a human being. He fought gallantly, not for glory or recognition, but for the sake of his comrades, who stood shoulder to shoulder with him in the face of death. On February 19, 1945, the tragic news that the world was dreading to hear was announced. Bazalone had fallen. He was killed in action, his life extinguished in the heat of battle. His fellow Marines mourned death, their hearts heavy with grief but also filled with immense respect and admiration for the warrior that he was. Bazalone had fought valiantly and had given his all to protect those he considered his brothers, his comrades, his family. After the war, Bazalone's body was returned to his homeland, to a nation he loved and fought for. His body was laid to rest in Arlington National Cemetery, the hallowed grounds reserved for those who made the ultimate sacrifice. This grand burial ground was a fitting tribute to a man who gave everything for his country. His grave, marked with a simple, white headstone, as a silent testament to the bravery and valor of one man. Even in death, Bazalone continues to inspire. His grave serves as a poignant reminder of the sacrifices made by countless men and women in defense of freedom. It serves as a tribute to all those who, like Bazalone, had the courage to face the horrors of war and the strength to lay down their lives for their country. His grave and his legacy continue to serve as a beacon of hope and a source of inspiration for future generations. Throughout his military career, Bazalone received numerous awards and decorations for his bravery and heroism. This man of valor, John Bazalone, was not just another soldier. He was a man who stood tall among giants, a beacon of courage in the darkest of nights, a symbol of hope in the midst of despair. He was an embodiment of strength decorated with honors that served as a testament to his unwavering courage and resilience. Among the many accolades he received was the Medal of Honor the pinnacle of recognition in the United States military. This is a decoration that only a few brave hearts are privileged to wear. It is an honor bestowed upon those who have shown extraordinary valor, an unwavering commitment to their duty, and an unquestionable love for their country. The Medal of Honor is not just an award, it is a symbol of the highest military ideals, a representation of bravery and selflessness that is unparalleled. The recognition Bacillon received was not just for his actions, but also for the person he was. A stalwart soldier, a brave Marine who fought fearlessly, who held his ground when others retreated, who carried on when others surrendered, and who gave his all when others held back. He was a force to be reckoned with, a beacon of hope in the darkest times, a symbol of courage amidst the fiercest battles. In recognition of his extraordinary service, Bazalone's Medal of Honor citation is a testimony of his valor. It reads, for extraordinary heroism and conspicuous gallantry in action against enemy Japanese forces, above and beyond the call of duty, while serving with the 1st Battalion, 7th Marines, 1st Marine Division in the Lunga area, Guadalcanal, Solomon Islands, on 24 and the 25th of October, 1942. His citation is more than just a recognition. It is a story of courage, of dedication, of sacrifice, and of a man who embodied the very essence of what it means to be a hero. The story of John Bassalone is not just a tale of a brave soldier, but a tribute to the indomitable spirit of humanity. He served his country with unwavering devotion, fought his enemies with unprecedented bravery, and left a legacy that will forever echo in the annals of military history.
His tale is a testament to the power of courage, to the strength of the human spirit, and to the everlasting glory of a hero's sacrifice. John Bazalone's legacy lives on, inspiring generations of Americans to serve their country with honor and courage. He was not just a soldier, but a beacon of bravery, reminding us that there are individuals out there who are willing to give their lives in the name of freedom and justice. Born in Buffalo, New York in 1916, Bazalone displayed from a young age a strong sense of duty. His dedication to service was fostered by his family and later manifested in his decision to join the Marines. He was a man of humble beginnings, yet his name is now etched in history. Bazalone's military career was marked by his relentless spirit and unyielding bravery. He served in World War II and was recognized for his heroic actions during the Battle of Guadalcanal. Despite being vastly outnumbered, Bazalone and his unit held their line, displaying an astonishing level of courage and determination. For this, he was awarded the Medal of Honor, becoming the first enlisted Marine to receive an honor during World War II. However, his story did not stop there. After being offered a safe position in the States, he chose to return to the battlefield. This decision further demonstrated his commitment to his country and his fellow Marines. Unfortunately, during the first day of the Battle of Iwo Jima, Bazalone lost his life. Yet, his actions on that fateful day earned him the Navy Cross, making him one of the most decorated Marines in history. Over the years, John Bazalone's story has resonated with many. His name has become synonymous with bravery, selflessness, and dedication. His heroism transcends time, making an impact on countless individuals. Schools, roads, and ships have been named after him, all echoing his heroic deeds. Several books and documentaries have been made about his life, showcasing his exceptional dedication to duty. He's also been a key character in popular culture, further boosting his legacy. His story has been portrayed in the renowned The Pacific, bringing his heroism to millions of viewers worldwide. Through these myriad commemorations, his spirit lives on, fostering a sense of duty and patriotism in new generations. His unyielding spirit continues to inspire, reminding us all of the price of freedom and the courage it takes to defend it. John Bazalone's story is not just about a soldier fighting in a war. It is a testament to the power of courage, the strength of the human spirit, and the enduring impact of selfless sacrifice. It is a tribute to the individuals who, like Bazalone, choose to serve their country, willingly placing themselves in harm's way for the greater good. Join us as we pay tribute to the life and legacy of John Bazalone, a true American hero. Thank you for watching this video on John Bazalone, a hero's journey. We hope you enjoyed this journey through the life of a true American hero. His story is a testament to the power of courage, the strength of the human spirit, and the enduring impact of selfless sacrifice. It is a tribute to the individuals who, like Bazalone, choose to serve their country, willingly placing themselves in harm's way for the greater good. If you were moved by Bazalone's story, we encourage you to further explore the life and times of this remarkable individual. Consider reading one of the many books written about him, or watching the documentary series The Pacific to gain a deeper understanding of his heroic deeds. We hope this video has inspired you, just as Bazalone's story has inspired countless others. If you did enjoy this video, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, World History Explored. Your support allows us to continue bringing you more stories of remarkable individuals and events from our past. Stay tuned for more exciting historical explorations. Until next time, keep exploring and remember, history is not just a collection of dates and events, but a tapestry of human experiences, courage, and sacrifice.